Hi, this is Derek here, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Bevanchale battle system. Um, as you can see, we have our two uh, characters here on the right side, uh, Bodum and Morak, and we are going to kill these giant spiders over here on the other side. Um, so we'll just jump right in here, and first thing you'll see is that we have uh, several options down here in the left corner, which basically uh, show the actions that this character can perform. Um, so we're actually just going to move the character, so whenever you select move, it will basically pop up um, this movement radius here, and essentially will show you how far that character is able to move on a given turn. Um, and as we can see for Bodum, he has a pretty, pretty high movement rate, but um, all of his attacks and abilities are, are extremely short range, so we're actually going to leave him kind of in the back um, for now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just confirm that. Can't really do anything else with him, so we'll go ahead and end his turn. Um, so now you see after after Bodum acts, um, the next character in sequence will act, which is Morok in this case. Um, he actually has several interesting abilities um, aside from Bodum, who is primarily just a damage dealer. Um, so with Morok, we're actually just going to get right up in their faces, just kind of stand here, look at him. And let's see what kind of abilities we have. So we basically, uh, the same thing with the movement. Every time you mouse over a particular ability, uh, we'll see the different attack radiuses. And um, basically also you can see that there is a cost associated with each ability to use it. Um, and let's just go ahead and use Shockwave on one of these, one of these spiders. I don't know which... Lucky Spider is going to get this. We'll go ahead and hit this dude. You can see um, basically it'll pop up uh, the damage dealt to that spider from that attack, um, which isn't really that much. But um, And basically so he's acted and it is now the enemy uh, turn to act. Um, obviously in the final game we will have some kind of AI, but it's actually easier to just control the spider directly, um, which I am doing. So. Basically we have our spider here and we're going to look at what he is able to do. Um, he can basically move up and uh, essentially we're just going to put him right behind Morak here. And we're going to take a look at his skills um, and as you can see uh, information pops up directly above that showing uh, just a, a brief description of the skill. Um, we're going to go ahead and use his fang skill and as you can see once you select that it will show um, the target or available targets that can be hit by that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use that, and we can see it does quite a bit to him. Um, he staggers a little bit in the wrong direction, uh, but anyway. So, and then the next, obviously, the the other spider is going to get some revenge for having been hit earlier, and he's going to come up pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to try to play these uh, enemies as if they were actually being controlled by AI. Um, so we might actually lose this fight. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and damage him a little bit more. So now we come back to Bodum, um, and basically that's how the turns work. Um, we'll go through each character, and then it will cycle back to the beginning um, of the list of characters. So basically with Bodum, we're going to go ahead and move him up right next to the spider, and we'll go ahead and look at our abilities. Um, you can see we have Slash and Backstab. Uh, backstab only does its maximum damage when you're uh, <laughs> stabbing them from the back, uh, which we are not, as you can see, we're not really angled do to do that. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and use a regular attack on him, and you can see it does some damage. Um, so we have Morok here. An interesting thing about Morok is, um, again, he has some uh, unique abilities that are kind of uh, more flexible than, than Bodum's. But we'll go ahead and just use Spin Kick, um, and as you can see, that will basically affects all targets within a certain radius of him, um, you know, again, which is shown there. So if we go ahead and confirm that, we'll see that we hit both of the spiders, do a little bit of damage to each of them. Um, so the spiders are probably pretty upset at this point. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and move up, and spiders actually have a, an interesting ability as well. 
um, where they can hit multiple targets. And you can see, again, um, this initial radius here shows basically which targets I could hit. Um, this other radius shows is basically if I hit this target, I will also hit targets in this radius. Um, and again, as you can see, no matter how I position, I'm going to hit both of these guys. So uh, that's good for the enemy, not so good for myself. But anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, drop some acid on these guys. You can see it does a little bit of damage there. And should go ahead and move this spider somewhere where I think he should be able to hit both of them. Yep, so we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. And as you can see, the you know the damage, the HP uh, levels down here tick down. And in traditional uh, RPG fare, if you get to zero, um, your character essentially dies. And we'll probably let that happen just to show it. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and just move behind this little dude here. And we're going to go ahead and use backstab on him um, just because we can. And as you can see, we're going to use that. Uh, there's some gratuitous blood animation. Honestly, kind of looks like he just struck oil there. But so let's see, we've killed that spider. Uh, so we really only have this other one to contend with. And before we do anything else, we're actually going to just move Morak over um, and just demonstrate his other ability. Um, and you'll notice that the color, the coloration there is different. Um, you know, for abilities that do damage, the color is red. Um, for abilities that are healing or supportive, um, we're using a green color. So basically, we're going to go ahead and use that. And actually, let's get back. And if you can see, you can see by the description, heals all allies in the area. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use that just to boost Bodum up a little bit so he doesn't get killed by the spider. So go ahead and use that. And you can see, yeah, heals, heals him up quite a bit. Um, or sorry, that was actually Morak that was going to get killed, but whatever. Uh, let's get Spider. Let's get him up here. Just have him, yeah, do that. And we'll have Bodum come in again. And just because I want to see more blood, we'll go ahead and do the same thing. And actually, we're just going to let Morak die here, just to show that. And I'll just do a, a regular attack. Bam, he's dead. He's gone. Um, and then the spider is going to be a little coward and try to run away, but he's not really going to get far. Um, so right now we don't have a way to revive characters, so we're just going to let him lay there. And we're going to move over to the spider and... And you can see, actually, I've used all of my uh, skill points over here, so I can't actually perform any of these abilities um, because, again, these all have a, a required cost. Um, so I'm just going to try to attack him. This attack, honestly, should kill him, I think. Uh, nope. All right. I was wrong. Uh, so let's have the spider attack back. And there's no need to delay this. We'll just kill him. There we go. Okay, so at this point the battle should end, uh, but instead it doesn't, so we're just <laughs> pretty much trapped here forever. Um, but anyway, that's uh, kind of the, the basic rundown. Um, and again, this doesn't really include some of the other features that we want to add. Um, this is kind of a very basic overview of the battle system. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, Feel free to post any uh, questions or comments uh, below, and uh, thanks for watching.